Cows are wonderful animals, but agriculture can be a huge environmental disruptor. We're fourth generation dairy farmers. Just about every decision we make, there's a financial side to it. But if I can make changes to help the overall global environment, then I feel it's my responsibility to do that. I'm Theo Scholze. I own and operate Scholze Family Farms with my brother, Will. We milk 550 dairy cows. We have about 250 head of beef cattle and farm approximately 2,000 acres. We were interested in the Feed and Focus program to learn how to better utilize our resources. There is a risk involved in learning something new. The Feed and Focus program provides farmers technical and financial support to try new conservation practices. It's a partnership between the Nature Conservancy, the Innovation Center for U.S. Dairy, Syngenta, and local partners to minimize the impact of agriculture on the environment. Italian ryegrass is the most exciting change we've made. It's a plant that needs no commercial fertilizer or pesticides. We utilize it as a feed for one year and then leave it in place as a cover crop. We're trying to emulate nature and how we farm. When we think about climate change, soil is very essential because it can store carbon. Planting clover crops helps to reduce soil erosion. And we know cows release the greenhouse gas methane through burps and manure. We can support farmers to improve digestibility through feed management. Italian ryegrass is a very digestible plant that cows can use more efficiently. If my cow is more efficient, she's producing less methane. Just being very conscientious about what we put into our animals allows us to utilize feed better, land sustainably, and manure to sustain crop production. It just is a win-win, right? We've won financially, we've won environmentally. It's very important to include farmers in the climate change conversation because they are part of the solution. The goal of the project is to become a blueprint for other states, other organizations. If we all contribute a little bit, we can move in a direction that is positive for the environment and positive for our industry.